Hey boys and girls, welcome back to the SandTube video. Like always, I'm VJ. Today we're going to be doing a real quick video on how to align your x-axis. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. So just by looking at the printer here, it's very obvious that my right side is lower than my left. So to confirm this, what you want to do guys is go and get a tape measure and measure your left and right side, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. But don't measure it from the heat bed because if your heat bed is not leveled, your measurements will be off. So you want to measure it from the railing, which is the base. So if you notice right here, I grab the tape and I put it all the way at the bottom and I measure my right side and then I get the readings off of that and measure my left side. In this case, they were off. So we're going to go ahead and get this fixed. But before we get going, this is the wrong way to align or level your z-axis most people usually put a piece of tape yes I know it's the wrong type of tape but blue measuring uh, tape sorry blue painters tape is what most people use they put it on the bed and then they lower the x-axis and then they level it that way that is a very incorrect way of doing that because if your bed's not level or if you put tape on there and lower your x-axis and have it sit on the tape it can move your bed around. So that is not the right way of doing it. I just wanted to point that out. So what you want to do is measure the sides, the metal that you see right there on the left side, the base, and then measure it again on the right side. Contrary to popular belief, most people will tell you, go ahead and just turn your Z rod right here. Either you hold it by the rod or the coupler down here. And if you turn it, it'll eventually come into place, okay? That is not true. Even though that does work, maybe about 10% of the time, the other 90, it does not work. So go ahead and try that first. Just turn your uh, Z-Rod and see if everything lines up for you. If it doesn't, um, then I'll show you two ways that I did to fix it. So at this point, you already know your axis is off. So the first thing you want to try is go ahead and loosen these wheels right here. This is just a side view. You're going to have two wheels right there. Just take a wrench to it with an allen key and loosen it up because sometimes the wheels grip too tight or they're not tight enough and that could be one of the problems as well so once you go ahead and do the wheels on the side go ahead and do the wheel on the back and this one's a centric nut which pulls and uh, pushes the wheel closer to the rails so go ahead and do that and once you loosen those up you want to go ahead and tighten them up again start with the two wheels here first Okay, once you get these hand tightened to where you feel they're firm and have a good grip, then go and turn it to the back view and tighten that centric nut. And what that's going to do is pull the wheels closer, making it tighter. So once you get all this done, what you want to do next, guys, is again, bust out that tape measure. Go ahead and uh, measure the right side, again, from the metal base, because that's always constant and then do it on the left side as well, metal base, and if everything is good, you're good to go, you're all done. But if you didn't get it, it leveled, uh, what you want to do is now you have to actually take off the x-axis from the printer uh, itself. So first thing I recommend is go ahead and disconnect these wires right here. That one will be labeled E, these will be labeled X, and I also disconnected the LCD, uh, LCD screen cable earlier. So once you do all of that, again, go ahead and loosen these wheels again while they're still on. So you're going to do the ones on the side and then do the centric nut, which is going to be on the back. And once they're loosened, what you want to do next is go ahead and remove the four bolts that you find on top of the printer rail itself. And once you get that done, go ahead and remove it. And once you get the top piece removed, go ahead and raise your x-axis manually, either by turning the z-rod that you see here or the coupler at the bottom. Once you get it all the way to the top, it should just pop right off like so. Now we're going to check to make sure that our plates that the z-axis is mounted to are on tight. So through these two little holes right here, guys, you will need to tighten those two bolts right there. Because if that's not tightened, then that's going to swivel the x allow the x-axis to swivel up and down. And then also on the left side, you want to tighten those two bolts as well. And once they're tightened, the plate will not move uh, up or down slightly, causing your Z-axis to be off alignment. This side is the trickier side, so just make sure you get that right, because you got to put the actual 
Allen key through those slots to get that tightened. So go ahead and do that and once you get that done go ahead and mount your x-axis back on. Once you have it mounted back on the first thing you want to do is again the wheels we loosened earlier go ahead and tighten the outside wheels first and once you get those two tightened up then you want to take care of the one in the back which is a centric nut. If you notice here everything is on pretty tight so for me it was those brackets uh, that was the main issue and um, what I'm going to do now just to confirm that everything is nice and straight I'm going to go ahead and measure it. I got six and a half on the right side to we'll move over to the left side measuring from the bottom rail and I got six and a half there so I'm ready to rock and roll here guys everything's good to go I'm going to plug in all the wires here the LED screen and then the extruder and then the x-axis wires and once I have everything connected I will go ahead and turn on the printer to test everything X, Y, Z axis to make sure everything is working right, auto home it, all that good stuff. And that should fix your X axis alignment problem. There you go, guys. And just to let you know, uh, just a side note, you guys always ask me if anything goes wrong while I'm making my videos or not. But in this one, it was something small. I mounted the spool holder um, backwards. So there you go.